Hello everybody, my name's Gordon and I am the current director of this new BSc program in Geography and Geosystems. This program is in its inaugural semester this year and so on behalf of my colleagues in Geography I welcome you to this open day. Now during this short presentation I will provide an overview of the BSc program, its scope and its structure and what you, as a prospective student, can expect to get from your four years at NUI Galway. In essence, this new program is unique in that it brings together expertise from across the university to deliver a truly innovative curriculum that will prepare students for a diverse set of careers in areas ranging from environmental policy to natural resource management, climate change adaptation, and urban planning, and many other things besides that. And it stems from our enthusiasm as physical geographers to bring students into a hands-on, field-based learning environment. Now, before I go any further, I just want to um, highlight the email address here. You'll see it in the bottom right. That is geosystems at nuigalway.ie. And so any inquiries about this module, about this program, please get in touch and um, I will endeavor to, to answer your questions. So why is the study of geography important? At the heart of this discipline is an appreciation for both natural and human environments and how they interact, when and where they overlap. For example, many of our students are interested in studying floods Perhaps they come from a place that is flood prone and you can see the damage firsthand. To really understand flooding and the impact of it, we must first take into account the fluvial dynamics of rivers and how they govern sedimentary and biological systems. Then we need to consider climate and climate change and changes in land use patterns by, by humans because all of these things will impact how much water ends up in low-lying areas such as the Irish Midlands. Therefore, decisions on new human developments or rewilding areas of our environment need to consider all of these factors in order to be sustainable. So this approach is geography. And geography is very much an umbrella subject. Ultimately, Geography has a responsibility to the community to help protect our environments and to seek solutions to environmental issues like pollution, loss of biodiversity, and of course climate change. Only by looking at human and natural processes together can informed solutions be found and plans be set in place to foster a more sustainable future. Our ethos in geography of building cross-disciplinary knowledge is reflected in the new Bachelor of Science structure, which really intersects various disciplines across the colleges of arts, law and sciences. So really you can think of geography as the intellectual glue that binds together insights from physics and chemistry, biology, geology, sociology economics, political science, and, and many other disciplines. If you look at the current slide, you'll probably notice several themes and keywords that intersect with your own interests and which fall under this broad umbrella of geography. And so this program will help you explore those themes in greater detail. Now, there are a number of programs available to students interested in this intersection between humans and our physical environment, you need to dig deep and think hard about which program is right for you. That is a decision that only you can make. But when I am asked why students might want to choose this new BSc program at NUI Galway, my response is that we have designed the curriculum to reflect our own concerns about sustainability and the future of life on this planet. Humanity's impact on environment and climate is increasing rapidly. And this is due to skyrocketing human population and our, let's face it, greedy appetite for consumption of Earth's resources. 
Clearly this situation is far from sustainable, and the ramifications of our impact are becoming increasingly tangible. They're impossible to ignore, and yours will be one of the first generations for which things like climate change are writ large on the landscape. Okay, the damage is being done now, and you want to do something about it. So there is an ever-growing demand for professionals who are scientifically literate, who know how to use real data in everyday situations, and who will be ideally placed for educated decision-making. Now, this really has never been more important. In my view, the best way to learn is to couple academic education, so those will be your classes and discussions during which we learn the fundamentals of a subject, and hands-on education. This is where we use the tools and we get our hands dirty. We're out in the field. We are producing data. And so this new BSc program is designed to bring students into the field, literally, and to provide as much experiential learning as possible. Now, I talk about field work. I also mean lab work. Geography operates a number of, of lab facilities, and students are invited to use those in their own learning and their own dissertation research. By immersing yourselves in what is intrinsically an interdisciplinary curriculum, with tutors and mentors from various avenues of life and research, you will develop a more holistic outlook as you progress towards graduation and, belong, uh, and beyond. Excuse me. Many of the problems that we face, or the challenges we face as a society, are requiring a holistic um, response. And so geography fits well um, in, that, in that theme. In terms of specific skill sets that geography and geosystems students will acquire during your time with us, the list is, of course, rather too long to go through in detail here. But it does include key areas such as geographic information systems, or GIS. Now, this is a major tool in um, not just in geography, but just in any line of work that involves a spatial realm. I can think of several off the top of my head, and I use it in my own work in, uh, in abrupt climate change. So GIS is a key tool that you'll come away with. This will help you critically analyze geospatial problems. Field-based surveillance of geomorphology, geology, and ecology, and the preparation of those data for interpretation and critically for publication. These are skills that our students will hone. Now, when I say publication, I'm talking about the presentation of findings, of environmental assessments to maybe regional councils or government or and so on and so forth. I'm talking about um, perhaps you'd want to become a scientific researcher. Those data that you produce will need to be delivered to the public and to the scientific community and, and so forth. Okay, so these are the sorts of skills that we would be training you with. Environmental advocacy. Now, this really is the front line when it comes to translating scientific knowledge to societal action. And you will acquire specialized skills specific to your interests when conducting your independent undergraduate dissertations in your fourth year. This element is really something to be excited about, the dissertation. It's an excellent opportunity to per, uh, pursue research in an area about which you are passionate, to put the skills that you have acquired into practice, and ultimately to tell the world what you have found. A solid research dissertation is frequently a stepping stone to a, an exciting career. And I'm talking from experience when I say that. So the skills that you acquire during this module will vary from student to student, depending on your interests, and we are there to guide you through it. Now, as I mentioned, the, the first year, the inaugural year of this program is, uh, is underway now. This is the 2020, 2021. So our students are in their first year. And they are taking um, a range of subjects the sort of foundational um, levels of these subjects. 
So in geography, they are taking both the principles of physical geography and those of human geography. And then they're also taking foundational um, level modules in biology, maths, chemistry, and physics. These include um, lectures and tutorials and, of course, lab-based practicals. Now, going into the second year, students are exposed to um, sort of more foundations in physical geography. And this includes, for example, um, weather and climate. Now, just to take you through weather and climate as, as an example class, this looks at the, um, the physics, if you like, and the concepts between uh, behind what makes our climate system tick, what makes the weather systems that we experience um, happen. Why do we experience extremes? You know, how can we actually forecast these things? Basically, it's what makes life on this planet um, habitable. Students will also go into more detail in environmental law and tools like statistics and probability that you can see here on the slide. At the same time as taking those foundational modules, you will be deepening your understanding in an area that interests you, or in two areas. Now, you can see them here, they're listed as pathways, pathways one to four. And you may be into coastal and marine issues. You know, you might have a future in that. Um, or you may be more of a biologist, in which case perhaps pathway two is your prime focus. Maybe you want to put current climate change in a deeper time perspective. Now, this is really crucial to um, modeling and forecasting future climate change. So pathway four, for example, might be more your cup of tea. Going into year three, this focus is more on career preparation. <clears throat> And you'll see here introduction to GIS, because GIS is that key tool in geography today. Career development and readiness. So the university has these modules in place to, to help you professionally. And we also offer this, um, this option for studying abroad, um, sort of placements that we would help you set up, research internships, or you might choose to spend part of your third year just accruing more um, more modules at NUI Galway if you want to, for example, go into teaching. This is a good opportunity to do that. And in your fourth year, you will be completing work in your pathway, pathways of choice, whilst also um, pursuing your independent research project. Now, this is the dissertation. This is the capstone, if you like. It's uh, the product that you come away with, which you can use. You can show to potential um, employers, for example, this is what I can do. This is what sets me apart from the rest of the crowd. Okay, so that is the fourth year capstone for which you will have uh, faculty guidance. That's what we're here for. Let's look at those specific pathways now. The provision of trained graduates in marine and coastal sciences, this is essential to underpinning Ireland's use of natural aquatic resources. This pathway one would be of high value to the marine sector, to the blue economy, and therefore to Ireland's um, future economy. Pathway two, this reinforces the identification and evaluation of terrestrial and marine ecosystems. Students taking this pathway will be able to perform in situ environmental assessments for various physical and settings and environments. And these are the sorts of skills that are highly relevant for young professionals in the private and public institutions researching and monitoring our coastal, marine and terrestrial ecosystems. And I'm thinking here the Marine Institute, the EPA, um, GSI and so forth, and Chaska. Now, pathway number three. This will expose students to the role of environmental planning in policy making. Our students will explore and understand the importance of environmental planning and learn about major national and EU policies, how such legal bodies govern resource use and maybe um, damage resource use. You know, we really have to um, explore both the pros and cons of these uh, legal bodies and their policies and how we can improve them. Students will 
um, learn about how they provide regulatory space for planning objectives. And the final pathway, pathway four, this pathway exposes students to the long-term environmental change and how it relates to modern environmental systems and issues. So students who gain this long-term perspective, they will have an appreciation for the history of Earth's dynamic systems. And this is, of course, crucial if we want to understand and um, project future environmental change. Only by understanding the long-term effects of climate change and human impacts on environmental systems, such as pollution and, and uh, so forth, only by doing this can we assess the potential future impact on ecosystem resilience and what we consider essential human infrastructure. Beyond the curriculum and beyond the skill sets, why study geography and geosystems at NUI Galway? Well, I'm going to skip to the bottom of this slide, actually. We, we are dedicated to this BSc. You know, that we put this together because we're excited about it. In physical geography, we want our students, we want the best of the best first. And so we want the students who will try hardest. We want the students who are not afraid of quantification, statistics and numbers, because science is in large part quantitative. We want students who are just chomping at the bit to be challenged by science, but really want to have that in a sort of in a human realm or in a spatial context, you know, physical geography, basically. Now, the staff is fired up about this, which is why we've developed the program. And we place a large emphasis on hands-on field learning, which means we are very keen to get you out there into the field, taking the samples, interpreting the data, getting your hands dirty. We do have new facilities. We have um, a GIS lab just up and running this year. And we have the Paleo Environmental Research Unit, which is um, for all your sort of geomorphology and, and geology needs. And we really exploit our position located at the intersection of, of islands, land, and island sea. Connemara is an excellent natural laboratory for the sorts of work that we do and the sorts of work that you as a student will participate in. To wrap up then, on this final slide, which I will leave up, um, students often ask us, well, what sort of careers might we get out of this? Because, of course, you have to be thinking about the future and you want to know what sorts of jobs might come out of, of a BSc in Geography and Geosystems. So I do have a look through this list, but it is by no means complete. Really, the world needs scientifically informed uh, decision makers. We need that now more than ever. And so you can see yourself taking information, being able to interpret data, and then going and changing the world. I stress, I stress this to my students, and I stress this to you now, please don't get hung up on exactly what job you're going to get after this, because you won't know. What is critical is that you spend the next four years pursuing a subject that you find fascinating, and that will therefore dedicate your full attention to. That is the most important thing, and the suitable job will, will come out of it at the end. And we will be there to help guide you throughout those four years and beyond, if you wish. So thank you for your attention. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to use this email address, geosystems at nuigalway.ie. My name is Gordon Bromley, and uh, I'll be very happy to, to respond to your questions.